it is estimated that 2 million people are going to lose their jobs in 2023. We are also going to see a higher than expected unemployment rate. We're going to be over 5.25%. And according to reports, the Federal Reserve is going to continue to raise rates until we can eliminate the possibility of increased inflation. That's what we're expecting. Now, this is going to be our new normal. That is a problem. And let me know down in the comment section below, can you live with this new normal? More unemployment, higher, uh, you know, potentially higher interest rates, and continuing rising inflation? Again, that's a problem. Now, here's what's happening. 52% of Americans are preparing for a recession. 52%. Now, what are they doing? Well, they're getting ready. They are building an emergency fund. That's what they're doing. Now, I want to address an email that I received back on December 2nd. Now, it's been, you know, you know, over a week since I got this email, but I really want to redo this email because this email came from a community member here on the YouTube uh, platform. His name, uh, her name uh, is Edonis. I believe it's a she, um, and she lives in California. Here's what she said. Hey, I love your channel. You always give good information, but I wanted to share something that happened to me during Thanksgiving. I've always been the breadwinner for my household, but this past week, I was told that my hours would be cut from 50 a week down to just 35 for the next three months. This is a huge loss for my family and unfortunately, I won't be able to pay all of our bills during this time. Now, here's where things get somewhat scary because this is the new normal. And when you realize that this is happening, again, it should be very scary. She goes on to say, during the Thanksgiving holiday, I talked to a, a few very close friends and family members to explain my situation and they all said the same thing. Sorry, I can't help. My cousin who owns a carpet cleaning business even said, sorry, I can't help. As he is currently laying off workers as we speak, I'm just wondering, is there anything that I can do? Remember, 52% of Americans are currently preparing for a recession by building up their emergency fund. They want to make sure they have money because when a recession hits and we see increased layoffs, which will be more unemployment, we see employers not hiring new employees, and we see all this happening with inflation, again, this is a recipe for disaster. Now, I needed to talk about this at this time because this is starting to be more and more common. I've run into people in the past that have said, you know what, if we were to dip into a recession, all they would do is one thing. They'd sell their house, they'd be perfectly fine. That's not gonna happen when people are not buying homes at the rate that they used to, especially when interest rates have risen so much. But here's what you need to keep in mind. People who have you, who you have maybe helped in the past, they're not gonna be in a situation to help you out. Again, so when, when uh, she says that some of her friends and family members simply told her, sorry, I can't help, that's the new normal. People are not in a position to be able to help anymore. Now in just a second, I'm gonna give you some advice, I'm gonna give you some help, okay? But again, it, it's something that you may already know. But here's the thing, if people are not able to afford their own bills, there's no way they're gonna help you out. They're not gonna give you the last of their savings in order to, for you to get through a tough time when that's gonna put them in a financial bind as well. So be prepared for a lot of financial distress coming in 2023 and be ready to lose loved ones, family, friends, because of all the results that are happening right now. Now, to answer the question, what could I do? What could I do to replace 15 hours? And again, you're probably thinking 15 hours, that's not that much money, 
But keep in mind, 15 hours over 35, that's five regular hours and 10 of overtime. That could be substantial. So even let's just do basic math. Let's say you get $10 an hour. That's five hours of regular time. That's $50. And then on top of that, you got 10 hours of time and a half, which would be 15. So you got 50 plus 150, you got $200 per week that this person is losing. That's $800 per month for the next three months. $800 per month. Now, could she find somebody uh, or find you know, eight friends and family members to let her have a hundred bucks? Possibly. But all these people told her, sorry, I can't help. Again, that's the new normal. Now, here are some of the things you could do. The first thing, and this is something that many experts recommend, is you need to go and find a second job. Find a second job to replace the 15 hours per week that you lost. You may not get overtime, that's fine. Even though you may need it, it's fine. Just get in the door, find another job. Now here's what you're gonna hear. Many businesses are gonna come out and say, sorry, I can't help, we're not hiring new employees. Let them know your situation, because here's the key. Employers are going to take advantage of you. They're gonna take advantage of your situation. They're gonna provide you a job, provide you an extra income, but at the same time, they're gonna want more in return. This happens all the time. So go ahead and do that, but again, just be warned. And I don't wanna give you financial advice or career advice here, but just be warned, if you explain your situation, the majority of employers out there are gonna take advantage of that. So just be ready. The next thing I highly recommend is to cut down on expenses. Now, when I say cut down on expenses, a lot of people think, okay, they're gonna stop going and get their, their Starbucks fix every morning. That's gonna save them about, what, $6 a day. All right, great. You're gonna have, what, $180 at the end of the month, right? Okay, wonderful. That's nice. Well, then they think, oh, well, maybe I'll just stop watching Netflix. Well, is Netflix like 15 bucks a month? Okay. So it adds up. Then they're gonna you know, get rid of their gym membership. Well, health is still very important. Health is vital. You gotta be healthy. So maybe that's not the best thing, but I understand. Maybe go to Planet Fitness, cost you 10, $15 a month. All right, great. You're, you're up a little bit. But here's the thing. You need to get rid of the big bills. Get rid of the big stuff. Now, I had a community member. They reached out to me uh, about a month ago. They couldn't afford uh, their necessities. And I simply asked, well, what are your big bills? What are your big expenses? And they said, well, I got my rent. I got uh, you know, my car payment, but I can't get rid of my car payment, right? I, I, I just can't, I need the car, I need the car. And I simply asked, you know, do you need that car? The car payment was 800 and, uh, 800 and what are they right here? $827 a month, $827 a month for a car a liability yeah you know you know what she did she called the bank the next day and asked if uh they would take the car back the bank said no you know what she told them well i'm not gonna be able to make a car payment i cannot make a car payment right now the, the payment's just too expensive so these are your options you take the car back or uh, i keep the car and eventually you're gonna have to pay somebody to come and repossess it because i cannot pay it that's what she told them Guess what they did? The car asked her to bring, the bank asked her to bring the car down, bring it to the bank. The bank sold it at an auction. The car sold for more than what was owed. And no, she wasn't given any money, but she didn't have to make another payment. So she took that 800 and whatever dollars, she took that coupled with a little bit extra. She bought a beater, a rundown car, but would do the job to get her back and forth from work. She bought that for a little bit over a thousand bucks and now she doesn't have a payment. She cut down on her expenses drastically. I don't know what she was driving for $827 a month, but I can tell you her life will change because of that one decision. She cut back on a big bill. Now, you can do that as well, or here's something that I personally recommend, absolutely love doing this. You can go and watch some of my previous videos from a few years back, where I'm talking about different side hustles, ways to make money online from home, you know, just be a, a digital nomad, work from your computer. And I show you many different ways. There's 
probably hundreds and hundreds of different business ideas that you can do. And I highly recommend go and try some. But here's the thing. Right now, we're all across the United States. There's places that are getting snowed in. They're getting some snow. We're seeing on the West Coast, we're getting snow. Guess what? You got a snow shovel? Walk around your neighborhood and ask people, hey, I will, I will shovel your sidewalk and driveway for only $20. Now, I don't know the going rate. I'm not a snow shovel expert, but let's say it's $20 or $50. I will shovel your driveway, your, your four car driveway. I'll shovel that for 50 bucks. Someone's gonna be like, deal. Cause I don't wanna get out there and break my back. Deal, I'll pay you $50, you go do it. You go do it, it takes you an hour, two hours, $50. Twenty-five to fifty dollars an hour. That's a good. That's a good job. That's a pretty good job. Maybe you don't have somewhere there's snow. Okay, start a lawn care business, right? Start mowing lawns for a flat fee, twenty bucks, forty dollars. Push your mower around, right? Maybe you're gonna clean cars or clean gutters, clear them out. It's possible. Do whatever you can to put a little more income into your pocket, because in this person's, uh, in uh, Udonis's, um you know, uh, email, she's pretty much saying, well, again, and I just want to be very clear here. I don't know how much she gets paid, but let's say she gets paid $10 an hour. She's losing $15 uh, or 15 hours, right? $200 a week, $800 a month. Could she do something to make an additional $800 per month by, you know, cleaning someone's house, mowing lawns or doing something like that? Yeah, you could. So again, in the times that we're in right now, where 52% of Americans are just trying to increase their emergency fund, do one thing. Don't put it on your friends or your family because they are gonna tell you this exact same thing. Sorry, I can't help, all right? So be prepared. This is coming, we know it's coming, but if we plan ahead, we should be able to make it through this. So again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. Again, just wanna thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.